So, been at this for a couple minutes, but I uh, just cast it. Been casting uh, in the bank in the sun because I've seen a lot of fish on beds. Typically, for me, if I see them, it's too late, but I've been kind of messing with my head because I keep seeing them dart up after my uh, bait. We'll keep giving it a go here. Came out yesterday, this jackhammer, it's a green pumpkin jackhammer, the skirt came off, so I used a Dirty Jigs uh, Bama skirt as a replacement. I'd say that's about spent. My trailer. Yeah, let's go a little bit deeper. My trailer is about spent. This thing took a pounding yesterday. Missing a keeper on it. But what I was doing is I was primarily fishing this half ounce, which I don't think I have a 3.8, so that would have been a little bit better of a setup. <clears throat> would have been a little bit better of a setup. Um, but a couple last week when I was in here using a Rage Menace and I put uh, some red dots on it. I was doing pretty good with that. Yesterday I wanted to give this vile craw a shot, but that uh because it already had the red flake in it, then I just used a little bit of JJ's on the tip. So I don't get too many left. But what I found with using these vile craws on a chatterbait is the kicking action on them is pretty subtle um, it's not over obnoxious I mean there's gonna be days where that it kind of calls for that extra action but um, I found that this pretty subtle action is kind of doing pretty good for me I lost a pretty good one yesterday so that on there I rip that middle flange off and then separate them I'm gonna bring it over to the JJ's Dab it on the sponge, throw it in the water. It's not fancy, but it works. All right. Wind's picking up a little bit, that's good. I'll help out, help out with the chatterbait. Well, I went kind of extra on that one. All right. So to throw a couple more at that dock right there and we'll move down a little bit further. There we go, just like that. Just like that. Oh, she came off. Well, anyways. So, this little rig is working pretty good for me today. Did yesterday too. So, green pumpkin, chatterbait, half ounce. I'd go with three eighths if I had it. Uh, the skirt came off, so I ended up putting on a dirty jig replacement Bama skirt, vile craw with red flake, and then the tails of the paddles dipped in methylate JJ's. <coughs> Wind's picking up pretty good, so that might change things a little bit.
<coughs> I'll give it one more cast to that dog. Oh, let's go two casts just so I know. But and we'll move move on down the line. I really didn't get into the bigger girls until I got halfway up this creek. Seemed like they were moved up a little, a little bit further in. But I will say today, when I was kind of setting up, getting everything ready on the boat, uh, I was taking a look at the mouth of the creek. Nothing. All right, I'll try it again. I was taking a look at the mouth of the creek, and there was quite a few bigums stage looking up stream so it's still moving up in here so that's a good thing but i uh, felt kind of weird about working the sunny side of the bank um but it's paid off so far three fish in the boat well actually two in the boat one jumped off been out on the water for about 20 minutes so that's pretty good Got a male. My bad. Back home, bud. Uh, little guy. Going right at the boat. Just kind of chugging along here. Smallest one yet. Moving in the wrong direction. That water is cold. Hmm. This has gotta be a bike. Gotta be a bike. Is a bass. Nice one. Nice one. Come on, girl. And you got the sharp tease, girl. All loaded up with the grass. Good. That's a good one. It's all about. That's a good one. We have to put that old girl on the scale. Nah, she ain't that big. Good one though. Nice three pounder. Nice three pounder. Should have the net out. This is a good one. <laughs> Holy shit. Stay down, baby girls. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Stay down. Baby. There we go. It's a better one. Barely hooked. Dude, oh man, three two. Well, I'm rusty. Uh, this fish.